rusty drips around the spout area. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. It was that detail three layer that we had earlier that I deleted. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back in and go to my image browser. And there it is. I'm going to grab some of this stuff right here. Set that. And spin it around. And let's see. Scale it down a little bit. Something like that. That's looking more like what I had in mind. And we'll probably have to, since we've got a bend here, we'll have to kind of move our position a little bit. Kind of even like that little scar going across there. And then the drip's sort of fading out. All right. Grab this one right here. All right, so there's that. I'm going to make a new layer for the cap. And just come in here and paint a little bit. that up first and then come in here and line this up. There we go. All right, so Q on the keyboard, so that's a little bit more of what I had in mind. That kind of really rusty area right there. Drips coming down. Uh, let's go ahead and change the way this is being layered on. Right now it's normal. I'm going to put this in as an overlay, so that made it very saturated. I'm going to have to correct for that by adjusting the color. Take the saturation down on it. And shift the color. Brighten it a little bit. Try that out, and we'll need to do the same thing down here. Is it okay there? So detail three, let's go ahead and do that as an overlay. And we'll adjust the color on that now. Right. And I think I'm kind of liking the overlay better and just correcting for the saturation. So bringing the color down, shifting the hue, eliminating a lot of that saturation and darkening it down a little. Go. Let's do the same thing here on details one. I'm going to turn that as an overlay, adjust color. Hit OK on there. All right. Let's come back to this one. See if we can adjust the color a little bit better. Sort of lose it a bit when it uh, 
when the red is pulled out. Okay. And I may actually come down here and just adjust that base color saturation on it just a little bit and the value down okay all right I'll have to do the same thing here on the cap base color adjust that down as well so with this done I'm going to go ahead and start collapsing these down here I'm going to right mouse click and merge visible. So we've got the base color on there. The main body here, so we've got the base color of that. Okay, with this done, I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. This is going to be just sort of a placeholder. This is going to be a bump map. So go ahead and create that. And I'm going to duplicate this layer. And we're going to drag this down into the bump map area. You can see it's already added on there. So we've got some nice detail. It's probably a little bit much. Let's go ahead and turn this off. And we can get rid of this layer now. Rename this. And we can adjust values on here. So I've got the curves. Okay, something like that. It was just a little too much going on there, so we've still got plenty of detail to work with. And we can further refine this once we're over in Maya. Say OK to that. Come back up here, turn the color on, and we're going to create a new layer. This is going to be specular. Say OK. Again, this is just another placeholder. I'm going to duplicate the base color again. Then drag that down into the specular channel. So now we can see our specular working. We can get rid of this placeholder. Delete that. Call that specular. And I'm going to turn this off and the bump off. So we can kind of see what's going on here. And we're going to adjust some of the controls on this as well. There you go. Okay, so you can see some detail showing up in there, kind of breaking up the surface. Say OK to that. And I'm going to repeat the process, or you can go ahead and repeat the process for the cap area if you have that painted. I'm going to do that offline, but I'll show you what I'm going to do now once I have all these together. Go ahead and turn everything on. I'm saving the scene before I do this in case it crashes. I'm going to select the model. So right now I've just got the, the bottom part, the base of the jerry can. With that selected, I'm going to come under File, Send to Maya, and we're going to Update Current Scene. So this is going to send over those textures that we just did, the base color, specular, and bump map. It's going to ask you if you want to send it at the current uh, mesh level or the base instead. We're going to go ahead and send it, send it as the base level. And we'll pick this up in the next lesson back in Maya and start setting up our scene.